It may have been chilly outside, but the Derby Conference Centre was humming for both days of the Save the Children powwow and volunteering. Community Giving Director Gemma Sherrington knew just what was needed to get things started. A trip to the seaside. Good old Frinton-on-Sea, where her newly retired parents now live. Her dad had been lured into local voluntary work, organising an entire golf tournament no less, when he'd only offered to help out with some bookkeeping. Gemma thought we could all learn from the tactics of the woman who runs Frinton Residents Association. She doesn't care. She'll talk to anyone anywhere. She's like, I want Frinton to stay weird. I'm going to fight for Frinton to stay weird. Therefore, the Residents Association must thrive. So I'm going to network. So no boundaries. Um, she's also got that personal touch. So she doesn't do like, posters in the library and, and I'm recruiting for the Residents Association. She gets to know people individually and she then sort of thinks about what, who they are and what they want to do. And I guess that's where she recognises people's potential. So she, she kind of goes in with a little ask and then recognises where someone could be. So with my dad, she thought, OK, you can do a few books, but actually Jeff's got some project management skills. He can get involved in the events. And she took him on that journey. And she's, she's been patient about that and invested the time in it. And the other thing is, she just has the audacity to ask. She just doesn't mind asking at all. Save the Children trustees asked volunteers to help run the charity some years ago, and the volunteers duly produced a vision of how they saw the future. It's being rolled out. Big changes take time, but already shop volunteers manage their properties. Where once there was an answer machine at head office, all volunteers now have their own dedicated phone support team and volunteers have helped drive fundraising to new heights. Over £110 million was raised in 2011. The new Born To campaign was launched, and ITV showcased what volunteers can do in a network show, Born To Shine. Raising money is vital, but volunteers help in other ways. The awareness raising is incredibly influential. The Department for International Development simply could not give the large amount of money it does to Save the Children if Save the Children did not have the reputation that it has. And part of that, of course, is to do with what they do out in the field on the programmes, but also it's to do with the way that volunteers work and the, the high standing of volunteers in the country. Save volunteers are generally a happy lot, but deep down inside they're often hopping mad at the way the world treats children. A sense of outrage has never been a bad thing when it comes to campaigning in this charity. It's a story of passion and determination, and that still is with us now. It's in our volunteers now. But it started with one lady, as many of you all know, Eglatine Jeb, who was outraged that children in Austria were dying because of food blockades. She had the courage, she had the guts to get up and tell people and talk to people about it and enthuse and make something happen. Breakout sessions devoted to raising awareness and volunteer recruitment gave everyone a chance to work. Understanding how to motivate people usually meant personal reflection. What had got them involved? I'm Lisa from Preston and I first got interested in Save the Children um, from the advertisement on the television when the floods happened mm -hmm. and it absolutely broke my heart. So um, I just thought, well, you can either turn it over or you can get off your BTM and try and do something about it. I went to volunteer in a mission hospital and school and I went every Tuesday and one Tuesday I walked in and every crib and every bed was empty and I asked them where the children were and was told that everyone had died since the previous Tuesday of measles. I would like to be involved with something that wouldn't necessarily benefit me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I came back a different person. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Oh, it's very emotional, really. Um, I look after really wealthy women who are so ungrateful for what they've got. Um, I have a busy business life that involves lots of international travel, so I wanted something that I could do that would kind of fit around that and still contribute something. So, for example, helping in shops, etc., wasn't going to fit the, the schedule. Mm -hmm. I saw that Save the Children had the speaking out 
um, program. And thought that's very innovative. The Americans had just withdrawn from Vietnam, uh, and I was sitting with my babies and uh, looking at TV footage of all these uh, terrible things that were happening there. And one of the things that was publicised was a mercy flight from Vietnam to England that had been uh, funded by the Daily Mirror. And on the plane was a photograph of, of a nurse who they said was from Save the Children, which also came from Sunderland. So I sort of sat up thinking, well, this is amazing. And I thought, well, if she can do that, she can go out there and do that. Um, I can do something here. Recruiting supporters today often means organising one-off events that raise cash but involve only short bursts of activity. After all, fundraising starts with fun. Get them engaged in something that they find interesting, whether it is through tennis or whether it is through hmm. dancing, and so they go to that for the event itself and then they kind of begin to learn about Save the Children rather than kind of forcing it on yeah. them sometimes. Yes. I think if people think it's a one-off event, they're not going to be on a committee or something. It's a one-off event, when, it, when it's over, that's it. They're much more willing to, to join in. The most popular event of the conference followed lunch. The talker, who is facing the back of the hall where you came in, has exactly two minutes to give the listener a snapshot of the thing that they do that they're most excited about. It might be an event, it might be a skill, uh, it might be an activity. You have exactly two minutes, and at the end of the two minutes, Lynn will ring the bell. Talkers do not move. Talkers stay in the same seat. The listeners get up and move one seat this way. I'll just point. I'm not even say left and right. The listeners get up and move one seat this way. Just take the card if you want to speak to them again about something that they said. And you might want to write on it what it was they said that you want to remember. So give yourself a minute to jot down. Then we'll take a very short break, and then you have the chance to swap roles. Um, I really enjoyed the speed dating. It was really interesting to meet so many different people in such a short space of time and um, get so many brilliant different ideas for, and so varied. Uh, the thought of doing it was quite scary, but um, people are so friendly though and I've got so many ideas off of the people. And um, We're beginning to get really vibrant young people in um, who can do social media and all the new techniques that are out there and we can use all the amazing experience that the people have been doing it for 40 50 years and modernize it and bring it to the next audience i was among the people who have worked with save the children for so many years and i was like a sponge sitting in between them and squeezing all the information not only did you get inspired from other people people got inspired for you from you so that was really nice it's so brilliant. Like we don't have to lose any of the intelligence that we have. We just have to modernise it, and it's brilliant. This is a brilliant opportunity to do it. There's hundreds of years in this room of volunteering. It's amazing. <laughs> Regular volunteers can now set up their own accounts on the My Save the Children websites, and there were hands-on sessions throughout the two days, swapping news, printing posters and invites, accessing videos, networking, all made far easier. And the highly informative and motivational presentations by Fergus Drake, Matt Wingate, and Hannah Reichardt, who all came to the conference, will all be available online for volunteers to access and use anywhere. Vision in Action, a conference that did exactly what it said on the tin.